One week ago, three deputies were shot while working an extra shift at a bar on the North Freeway. One died, one was shot in the leg, and the other in the back. The family tells KPRC that Deputy Garrett, who was shot in the back, will need a kidney transplant. Health reporter Haley Hernandez joining us now to explain how living donors may be able to help. Haley. Right, and guys, this may come as a surprise, but getting a kidney is not as easy as you sometimes see it on TV. Even when you see reports about people donating kidneys to a family member, the reason those stories make the news is because it's such a unique gift. But it is possible that someone listening may have what it takes to help Deputy Garrett or any of the more than 8,000 Texans waiting for a kidney. Kareem Adkins, Hakeem Barthen, and Daryl Garrett were working off-duty security jobs last Saturday when they were ambushed. Adkins was killed, Barthen was shot in the leg and later discharged, and we're told Deputy Garrett, who was shot in the back, will need a kidney transplant. According to UTMB Dr. Muhammad Mushtaba, his best chance at getting one and getting back to normal life quickly is through a living donor. So, you know, in terms of the outcomes, um, living donors are are the best option, especially if uh, this gentleman has anybody who is willing to uh, to donate. Here are some of the qualifications you need to meet to be a living donor. You can't have diabetes or high blood pressure. You can't have kidney disease or damage, and you have to be the same blood type. It's also safer if you don't plan to become pregnant, although not required. And Dr. Mushtaba says if you're able to maintain a healthy diet for the remainder of your life, you can function just fine with one kidney. If everything lined up perfectly, you could do a transplant within a month. While waiting on a list for a deceased donor, continue Take years, but despite the desire to give a kidney, it's still tough to be an exact match. That's where opportunities for a swap, where multiple people donate to one another, come in. And that way, an organ swap can can be arranged. That organ swaps can happen uh, from weeks to few months, but the wait time is usually much shorter than just waiting for a deceased donor to be to come. So while this report is about living donors, it's also important to express your wishes of being an organ donor to your family if you were to unexpectedly die. Despite what your driver's license says, family may ultimately decide what happens. If your organs outlive you and are not donated, families like Deputy Garrett's don't get them. For more ways that you can help Deputy Garrett, including a fundraiser that's happening this weekend, go to clicktohouston.com. Lauren.